Today, the Index Co-op released a brand new product, IC ETH. Interest compounding ETH uses a leveraged liquid staking strategy to provide users amplified exposure to Ethereum staking yield. Now, if you're anything like 99% of the population, the term leveraged liquid staking might leave you feeling a little confused, which is why in this video, I'm going to break down everything you need to understand what's going on behind the scenes with IC ETH. And keeping in line with the IC theme, I'm going to try to do it before this ice cube melts on a stovetop. Okay, so the first thing you need to be aware of is that later this year, Ethereum is transitioning from a proof of work blockchain to a proof of stake blockchain. Um, this event called the merge is a very nuanced and uh, you know difficult subject to explain and there's no way that I'm going to get through it before this ice melts. So if you're interested in diving deeper on the merge, we'll provide extra links in the show notes. What is relevant for this video is that under a proof of stake system, you're able to stake your ETH to activate software to verify transactions in exchange for transaction fees. You can think of this like yield and uh, you run the validator by locking up a certain amount of ETH in exchange for the yield. The problem is, right now you need 32 ETH to activate a validator, and 32 ETH at current prices is well over $100,000. And this provides a pretty substantial barrier to entry. If you're interested in the yield and don't have $100,000 sitting around, there are options. Centralized exchanges like Binance and Coinbase offer their own staking pools. Uh, alternatively, services like Lido or Rocket Pool offer a novel solution called liquid staking. This um, basically allows you to swap into their tokens staked ETH or R ETH, um, which accrue the value of staking rewards over time without you having to lock up your ETH. That's liquid staking. Leverage liquid staking is where ICETH comes in. ICETH employs a strategy that involves purchasing staked ETH, depositing that staked ETH to the Aave protocol, borrowing regular Ether against it, swapping the Ether for more staked ETH, which you put back into the Aave protocol to borrow more ETH to swap to staked ETH. Now, since staked ETH is essentially pegged to Ether, and goes up in value over time because of the staking rewards accruing to it, this strategy allows you to achieve amplified exposure to staking returns, i.e. leveraged liquid staking. Um, yeah, so that's how the token works. Um, and this ice is just about melted. IC ETH is now available for trading on ETH mainnet. The methodologists have put together some pretty in-depth blog posts that dive a bit deeper than one ice cube. Uh, and risks and disclaimers. Uh, there's always risks associated with crypto, associated with DeFi. There's smart contract risk. Uh, please do your own research, understand what you're buying, and uh, we'll see you next time.